Hey everybody, it's Jim. Thanks a lot for listening. I just wanted to take one minute, 60 seconds, and share with you some uh, achievement principles that I've come to value and also ob observe that many high achievers have uh, these principles in common. One is a, a sense of purpose. Without exception, individuals that are high achievers tend to believe that what they're doing has a higher sense of purpose. Um, passion, they are absolutely passionate about what they do. They love it, they love coming to work every day. Optimism, you know, very few high achievers are not naturally optimistic people. Um, integrity, you know, they most high achievers, despite what we meet, might read in the newspaper recently with some of these scandals, in my experience, most high achievers have a high sense of integrity. Modeling, I think uh, it's been my experience uh, and, and it's also, I've observed this with many high achievers that they tend to model those that get it. You know, l seek out those that are already achieving what you want to achieve and ask them to help you. I also believe in R&D. I'm not referring to research and development. I'm referring to rip off and duplicate. If people are doing something really well, well, figure out what it is and, and do the same thing, only maybe do it a little bit better. I also believe in, and we have a, a, an acronym around here, it's called BHAG, which stands for Big, Hairy, Audacious Goal. Life is nothing unless you set big, lofty, uh, hairy goals, a BHAG, so get a BHAG. Uh, become an expert. You know, uh, a book that I, I read and I, uh, I thought was terrific was Malcolm uh, Gladwell's Tipping Point. And in that book, he, he indicates that anyone, virtually anyone, can be an, an expert in almost any subject if you put 10,000 hours into whatever that profession is or whatever you're trying to be an expert in. And, you know, and how do you do that? You know, time is everybody's most valuable, um, precious thing. And you do it by taking small boat bites. It's, it's the old saying, you know, how do you, how do you eat a whale? Oh, one bite at a time. It's, that's how you become an expert. Um, time management, really critical. Kind of enough said there. You need to manage your time and work on highest priorities. And um, that's it. That's my... Uh, Achievement principles, one last uh, quote that I'd like to leave you on leadership. The process of influencing others to accomplish a common goal by providing purpose, motivation, and direction. That's great leadership. Hope uh, this helps. Thanks a lot.